Sharper is a new A24 film to hit Apple TV+. Plus. Let's see if this new film is worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. Motivations are suspect and expectations are turned upside down as a con artist takes on Manhattan billionaires. So this new A24 film is a psychological thriller. We have a bunch of people conning each other in Manhattan. We have a pretty decent cast with Julianne Moore, Sebastian Stan, Justice Smith, Brianna Middleton, and John Lithgow. For some smaller films, I typically don't watch trailers or read a synopsis going into it because I want to be surprised. Uh, and about 20, 25 minutes into the film, I really did not know what was going on. And I had to read the synopsis for the film. It is a film where everybody is like a con artist and events in the beginning are very important to the end of the film. But the beginning of the film, when we are introduced to Brianna Middleton's character and Justice Smith as well, uh, they have this relationship and we are really focused on one character. And then we start to build off of that. And then we are introduced to Julianne Moore and Sebastian Stan and John Lithgow as well and all of those characters. And then it comes clear what the beginning of the film was supposed to do. And I, now I jumped the gun a little bit in the beginning and I was like, I'm not really that interested in this film because of how slow it was in the beginning. And I really didn't understand what was exactly going on. And it wasn't until Sebastian Stan's character was introduced that you understood what the purpose of each character was and how they are a con artist and how they have a really big target. This is a film where events from the beginning to the end, every single scene is important to what is going on in the film. And so all of the events in the beginning are explained at the end as well. And we kind of have to play and we go backwards and we see all of the connections to the beginning with Brianna Middleton and Justice Smith and how they pertain to Julianne Moore and Sebastian Stan and all of them as well. I appreciated how this film was able to connect all of the characters and all of the events in the film. Despite the beginning, how it was clunky and I just wasn't understanding exactly what was going on, it all matters at the end. And so at the end of it all, I did appreciate how it was just able to kind of build off of each other and characters were all connected to each other. So I really did like that. This is a sleek looking film. There is some really good overhead shots of the city uh, that are very calming. The scenes at night, and we just get the overhead shots of the city and at nighttime, it's beautiful. There's some really good directed scenes in here. The cinematography is really good. I appreciated how this film handled billionaires and uh, con artists and them stealing a bunch of money. It made it look sleek. It made it look, they made it look sleek. Managed to match the story and how it dealed with a bunch of money. It made it look really good. The film does involve a bunch of con artists and although it doesn't hit as hard as other films similar to this, it's entertaining enough to get through the film. As we see the progression of the characters and connections as well, it's fun to learn of one character and have them go back to the other character and how, and how this one scene related to this scene. So watching it go back and forth, I thought it was pretty entertaining in how certain scenes related to others and how they were so important. Like I said, in the beginning, I thought nothing really mattered. It was just a really simple story in the beginning and it wasn't that engaging, but it came to be engaging later on in the film. The cast is pretty good as well. Justice Smith in here in the beginning, we see uh, the effects of someone conning him and how emotional it was and how he was affected, like, which I feel like you rarely don't get to see in a film like this is the other side of the story, how someone is affected. And usually like in a film where someone's stealing a bunch of money, it's all for jokes and for fun. And you see like those lighthearted moments like Ocean's Eleven and all of that. Let's see some of the effects to it with Justice Smith and his relationship with Brianna Middleton and how uh, he's affected by all of that. So it was a nice little approach to the character in the beginning of the story. Julianne Moore is really great in here as well. She's got some really good chemistry with Sebastian Stan that back and forth works. Sebastian Stan is great in here as well. John Lithgow 
Uh, John Lithgow is just kind of thrown into the middle of everything. But the whole cast plays off of each other very well, and they are all connected by the end of the film. Sharper is a pretty decent film. It looks really good. There is some really entertaining, engaging moments. I like how every single scene mattered to the end of the film, despite its slow start and not really a clear focus on what it was, it all mattered at the end of the film. It's not one of the best A24 films, but it's one that I did enjoy watching throughout. Before I give you my score for Sharper, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here, so hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. And if you'd like to see where Sharper ranks amongst all of the other 2023 releases I've seen this year, follow me on Letterboxd and there you can find my ranking. I'm going to go ahead and give Sharper a B-. minus. Thank you guys for checking my review for Sharper, the new A24 film on Apple TV+. Plus. Have you guys seen it by chance? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up-and-coming content like this. My name is Justin Watches Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.